I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com, and this is Between the Lines. We're zeroing on a case that's taken a year and a half to come to today. The Maceo January trial is over. Joining us now is Jacob Rogers, who's been following this case. So what happened today? Um, so today, a uh, jury came back with a verdict after about three and a half hours of uh, deliberations, and uh, the, ver the, the, the guilty, I'm sorry, the verdict was all guilty um, uh, on first-degree murder charges after deliberation, as well as on uh, burglary, theft, and uh, aggravated uh, motor vehicle theft. You had an opportunity to, to talk with the Dunlap and the Butler families about the deaths of their children. Tell me about that conversation. Um, yes, you know, spoke with the with the parents of uh, Whitney Butler as well as uh, David Dunlap, and um, I mean they were just uh, just overwhelmingly uh, glad about the result. Um, uh, the, the mothers of of, of, of the couple uh, they were both texting relatives uh, as the verdict came in. Um, you know, in talking with uh, the father of Whitney Butler, uh, he said that you know justice uh, was served today, and um, uh, you know he said that in, in the wake of this that there have been some changes regarding. Um, uh, police response to burglary alarms, that was uh, one of the things, uh, one of the aspects of this case. Um, but, you know, uh, they said they will be you know, asking for the, the maximum sentence um, against uh, Mesa January when uh, sentencing happens. And sentencing will be? Um, sentencing happens o October 22nd, um, here before 4th, 4th Judicial District uh, Judge uh, Deborah Gross. All right, thank you very much. And of course, you can read Jacob Rogers' full story on Gazette.com. With Between the Lines, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com.